Okay, so thanks for all the questions we've been getting on Wing Chun tips. I hope they've been uh, quite useful for you. Here's a question that we got recently from a student of the UK Wing Chun Association. Uh, when would you use Wing Chun chain punches and how would you use them to pass the guard? So the answer's coming up now. So the answer to the question is quite simple, at close range. You use chain punches at close range. The reason being is because the idea behind the technique is to control distance. Think about an average fight or confrontation. The person's going to be in your space, in your face quite quickly. He's going to be here. So the idea of the Wing Chun punch, especially the chain punch or the basil punch, is that you maintain and you control the space. And how you control the space is that you hit, and as you hit, the rear hand retracts back and is chambered to go again. So when he tries to come forward, it holds the ground. It maintains my space. When he comes forward, it always maintains the space. And that's very different to if I punch and pull the hand back, because if I punch Russian George one, he jams me. So from the point of view of preserving your space and making it quite practical, you always punch and leave the arm forward, punch and leave the arm forward and chamber the other hand back. So use it at close range. The second question was how do you pass the defender's guard? Of course that's uh, much more of a complex question. So there's so many factors, generally guards aren't static, people don't just stand there like this, they move their guards and they move because they're trying to trick you for the timing for the punch and, and so on. So it's a little bit more complex to answer that. So what I'm going to do is give you, try to make it as a, a simplistic answer as possible and then that will at least explain it to you and at least uh, from there you get some understanding of why Wing Chun students punch like this and why they move like this at close range. It's primarily to do with control of the centre and protection of space as I mentioned earlier. But if you can imagine, if I'm punching, to get past this guard, the clear path, obviously, is to go through the person's centre, which is an art that's, that's devised around holding the centre ground and punching through the centre. If you can imagine, though, I punch through the centre, just like any other fighting style, if George pushes my arm out of the way, then that gives me an opportunity to, to pass by actually following in a straight, direct route, because this hand is already primed, cocked, and ready to go. So I'm striking, so every time he moves my arm out of the way, I'm hitting, he moves my arm out of the way, I'm hitting, moves my arm out of the way, I'm hitting. So that's one way of looking at passing the guard. Of course, that's very simplistic, and there's a lot of variables. You can say, yeah, but the guy can hear, of course he can hear, and of course we can move, and the dynamics of it can be very different. But the general point is that when I move, when I move, I'm actually starting to get my hands, so you move, George, just block one, I'm starting to get my hands forward, and what I'm doing is I'm passing the guard by maintaining the pressure on the centre line. So I'm going forward, he pushes out the way, I'm maintaining the pressure by going directly at him. So in simple terms, you pass the guard by hitting, creating LARPs, and that's how we do it in Wing Chun. In summary, the chain punch is for close quarter. Simple as that. Also, to get around the guard, you've got to get the person to move your arm out of the way to actually allow you to attack at angles. Simple as that. Another quick point, do's and don'ts. In case of using the uh, chain punch, don't apply it over a long range. Don't chase into someone from a long range. Don't try to use it in a boxing context because it is particularly a close quarter technique. And lastly, if the guy's fallen on the floor, don't bend over him and try to chain punch him because what you'll find is it's actually negating the whole purpose of it which is to maintain your space when someone's actually trying to close it. If you've got any questions please feel free to leave uh, questions on our channel, uh, email me, that's absolutely fine, but please subscribe and uh, I look forward to releasing another one soon. Thank you.